Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove and grease your uh, slip yoke and slip spline on a Toyota Tacoma. This is for a 2012, but also applies for majority of the rear wheel drive vehicles that are on the road today. So in order to do that, you, first we need to remove four nuts and bolts that are um, found on the back. These bolts hold the propeller shaft to the, the flange of the rear differential. So in when you remove these you will need a 14 millimeter socket a 14 millimeter open end wrench to uh, successfully remove these bolts once you have those um, removed go ahead and put a jack stand over here so in the event that the uh, propeller shaft decides to become undone from here this place then it's not gonna damage because you don't want this coming hard down on the ground because you will put it out of balance and you can see this little weight here this is this has been balanced from um, Spicer I think that's whoever makes these drive shafts so once you have the bolt removed which you just saw me remove the last bolt here which was holding this drive shaft uh, next what you need to do is barely tap on here get it undone before you completely remove your uh, drive shaft from this uh, flange of the on the uh, rear differential make sure you mark where they go so when I put it back uh, it's not out of balance and I won't get any by break the next thing you need to do is stick a screwdriver on this little slot here there's a slot and I'll show you here in a second but you stick a screwdriver and what this does is you are spreading uh, it, it's kind of pinched so you are spreading it apart and by spreading it apart there's this little clip here that it lets go of it I've already loosened this up so all I have to do is uh, stick a screwdriver here and this thing will come undone now we're gonna go ahead and remove the drive shaft and proceed with with greasing this part over here so after beating the crap out of this uh, flange here with the hammer you don't want to hit it over here you want to hit it on this side so that way you loosen up uh, this has finally come and as I was showing you earlier the um, drive shaft is now support being supported by this jack stand here uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and completely remove the, the, the drive shaft The grease that I've been using on this, this is the second time, second or third time that I'll, I've greased. I noticed that it lasts a year. It's a Motorcraft. Uh, this is actually good stuff. And I'll put a, put a link in the description uh, to where I can get this. You can get this at your local Ford dealership as well on Amazon. It's uh, fairly inexpensive. I think it's about $7. can't remember. But anyways, it is a Teflon base grease. And that's what you want to use on this drive shaft now I contacted Toyota asking for a boot I noticed this is a little bit cracked uh, Toyota told me that this drive shaft is actually non serviceable if you have problems with the ground type Toyota will actually replace if it's under warranty or you'll just have to buy a new drive shaft so I think that's a uh, crap from Toyota honestly this is it's not easy but it's it's doable you can do this yourself you can buy you know a seven dollar grease and fix this and you all be set okay so i've cleaned up the old grease this is actually clean now uh, now we're ready to put a little bit of this we're now ready to put a little bit of this grease and then also go clean whatever we can on the inside of the yoke and apply some of this grease i don't know if you can see the difference now i've put plenty of grease on the spline of this drive shaft um you want to be generous with it i guess too much can also be a problem in a way i this is the same amount that i put last time and it lasted me a year so now that this is ready let's go to the yoke side and grease that sucker up okay so now we have the the yoke uh this is where the spline of the drive shaft go in here this is what connects to the transfer case that you see all the way over there okay so i think we've done uh an okay pretty good job at removing the old grease 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of this motorcraft grease in here. And this is good stuff. It's like toothpaste. Just don't eat it like Tide Pods. There, that looks like a lot, but it's really not. Because what we're gonna do is grease, grease this baby up. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Now let's go get the drive shaft and proceed with installing it back. So there you have it. I put the drive shaft back. I thought I had hit record earlier whenever I put, you know, whenever I slid the slip line into the slip yoke. I thought I was recording, but turned out it wasn't. So, um, you didn't lose anything really important. So in order to torque those bolts uh, that hold the propeller shaft in place to the rear differential, you're going to need a Crowfoot 3.8 drive Crowfoot. I got this on Amazon as a kit. It was pretty cheap. And this actually works excellent. So this is what you need. I'll post the link in the description to where you can get this. If you try to use a regular shallow socket, you're not gonna have room in there. Now we are ready to torque all of the four bolts and nuts that hold your propeller shaft onto the rear differential flange. To torque these, you will need a torque wrench and tighten them to 65 foot pounds. So I mentioned earlier that you cannot put a, a socket um the nut goes on on this side of on the on the back side of the flange the bolt actually goes on this side so you're putting the bolt through that direction um because there's no space back here you will need a crow foot type socket or wrench whatever this is called uh, that's what i have on my torque wrench and so this gives you the ability to torque each bolt to however uh, is required and on this Tacoma it calls for 65 foot pounds. The last thing that we got to do is put this uh, Rubber clamp boot clamp whatever this is called. We're gonna make sure that this little notch here that we see on the end Goes on the third hole and see there's uh, you can barely see it one two three So that little notch goes on the third closest to the tip of this uh, Once you have that then you can bend this uh, to that that way that way it it locks in place and then you can grab a pair of pliers and squeeze uh, squeeze here so that way it tightens it up now if you mess this up and you don't have another clamp you can go to I guess transmission shops they they would be able to uh, sell you one but if you don't have that you can always put a uh, zip tie heavy duty zip tie on here so there we have we put the clamp back in place we have completed the job so all I got to do is go for a test drive and make sure there's no vibrations. This is in place now and now your boot is back in place and it won't slide. Before you go and remove this uh, pin in the butt drive shaft, uh, what I recommend is you actually grease all of the Zerg fittings, all of your U-joints. Uh, if you have a four wheel drive, make sure you grease the front ones also. Uh, so after you have greased, all of the U-joints and you still are experiencing the Tacoma driveline clunk, your next step will be to remove the drive shaft, which is what I showed you here, and grease the the, the splines, the, the yoke. So what happens here is that when you brake from a stop, it causes the truck to dip down in the front. Uh, this lifts the rear end up and extends the drive shaft so that the splines of the drive shaft extends outward in the slip yoke. When the truck comes to a full stop, the rear end tries to settle and go back down. This doesn't happen because the weight of the truck is being suspended by a binding drive shaft. This is the problem that we're having here. The splines hold position inside the slip yoke. Then when you let, let off the brake, it unloads the, uh, the drive shaft and allows it to rotate and force the splines back down into the slip yoke. So if lubricating the drive shaft does not resolve this and you have greased the uh, the U joints doesn't also resolve this problem, then I would what I would do is probably replace the drive shaft. Um, others have, have commented that it could be the, the pinion in your uh, inside the pumpkin, but in my experience this is the second time that I've greased it and by greasing this the, the splines it fixed the problem and I, that was after i had greased the uh, u-joints all right guys thanks for watching if you found this video to be helpful make sure you hit the thumbs up uh, also don't forget to subscribe for many other cool videos 
Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will answer all your questions or concerns or ideas if uh, recommendations. If I screwed up or did something I shouldn't do, um, just leave them in the comments below. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.